Alright guys, good morning. It is like really early. Um, 20 after 1 to be exact on Saturday, May 28th. Heading turkey hunting. You're probably sitting there wondering what in the world are you leaving at 20 after 1 when it doesn't get light out until quarter after 5. Well, I'm going to get gas, coffee, then I'm heading to pick up David. And uh, we got about a two hour drive. Um, we're going to upstate in Pennsylvania. We're going to Wayne County to hunt this morning. Um, we, uh, we've been talking about getting out of our comfort zone of the areas we hunt around here. We haven't been seeing a lot of birds. I was very lucky last, yesterday morning um, to get on some different property um, that anybody could have hunted and uh, kill a bird, uh, kill, kill a really nice uh, we're gonna call it a Jake, but it was almost a mature turkey with the with the fan. The way it was almost a full fan. So, but I was I was tickled. It was a great morning, great show, no gobbles. But uh, we're gonna go up north because um, years ago, uh, David used to hunt up there, and uh, a lot of people hunt. It's a lot, just a lot more plentiful. Um, we don't know. There may not be anything up there, but we're gonna go. I've got an extra tag. Um, David's got his tag and then if we get lucky this is a long one um, and both get a bird really early we are just literally five minutes inside of Pennsylvania we can hop right over the state line to a piece of property that's in New York and uh, I can try and kill a bird in New York but that's a long shot we're gonna get going and uh, I'll see you when I get David morning everybody just watch that don't spill mm -hmm. we're heading north yep way north way north <laughs> way way north going to different land trying to see if our luck's any better somewhere else. These birds around here don't want to gobble no more. So got everything, batteries are in there. That should be it. It's still humid out. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be real humid. Huh? It's gonna be real humid all weekend, getting worse as the yeah. weekend goes, so. Get coffee? Coffee's here, water's there. Let me put these in here. Put those in there. I got some snacks and some extra Gatorades I brought, so. You ready? I'm ready. Alright. We're going. We'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, guys. Well, after about two and a half hours of driving or so, right? Mm -hmm. We uh, we found our first parking spot that we had marked, and uh, we are we are back in the middle of nowhere. We actually had to go up into New York and then come back down to get here, so. We're, we're literally not far from the New York state line, so we're just checking Onyx and uh, a little fog this morning, but we're ready to hunt some turkeys in some new area and hopefully we hear some. So we're going to look at the maps and we'll get back with you when it's starting to break daylight.
Well, we did not hear any gobbles off the roost and daylight broke and we decided let's just start walking around exploring this new land that we have never been to. It looks like it's good turkey habitat. There's plenty of deer sign. Something's got a gobble. We walked around and we walked around covered ground calling here and calling there and we just never could strike a gobble up in this property. However, we were able to find plenty of salamanders running around on the rocks on the dirt road. And don't forget this color faced squirrel that we caught running down this dirt road away from us. I saw another one moving up Did there. Did you? Oh, yeah. Hmm. That was pretty neat. Yeah. Color phase fox squirrel. No turkey, so. I don't care, whatever you want to do. PA birds lost their voices. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, um, we're in, we're back home. <laughs> we drove around those state lands up, uh, Wayne County area where we were and uh, we were doing the same thing a bunch of other hunters were doing driving around getting out and calling and not hearing a single thing so we drove home an hour and a half we're at Sheets got some coffee gonna get some breakfast sandwiches and we're gonna go drive around some more nope. it's raining it's raining and we're gonna go drive around and see if we can't find a bird but we're gonna eat something and then we'll go see if we can find a bird gobbles but you never know.
Try somewhere else. And the freaking rain starts coming down. I can't hear shit now. Can't win. <clears throat> no sense in storm now. Alright, so this is going to be the last spot we're going to call from. We got more rain coming in. We'll hit it again on Monday, but this hasn't been, you've heard what, one bird down here this year? Yep, that was it. That's all we've been really seeing too. I give up. I have no clue. If anybody knows why the birds aren't gobbling in Pennsylvania this year, let us know. Well, the rain's let up and David decides to head back out. All right, what's up everyone? So, I'm heading out for an evening hunt. I'll see if I can't get up through these woods. Maybe call a bird to this field. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to give it a shot. It's probably been a week since I've been over here. And every now and then, these birds were working across this field, coming into this woods up here where I'm headed. So, I'm just going to take a nice slow walk get up in here and hopefully a bird come across this field and I don't scoop nothing on the way in so I'll see you guys when I get up there. Well as David gets to where he wants to sit he sees a Jake with two hens feeding out in the field working their way towards his spot. He quickly gets set up 
throws out the Tacticams, hits record, and gets ready to be as patient as possible while they slowly feed in toward him. Well, it's been two years since David knocked down a bird in Pennsylvania, let alone any state. So he's sitting here being patient, but the nerves are getting to him. Just watch his breathing as it gets heavier and heavier as these turkey get closer and closer. One advantage we have late in the season is a lot of folk that create shade that can hide us feeding. And just look at how tall the browse is out in the field here. These turkey have no idea that David is sitting, waiting patiently for them to walk within inch to get a shot. Sorry for the poor footage, but this had to happen quick. All they had was my tacticams, and uh, this guy come up across this field. I got in here just right in the nick of time, I'll tell you. Boy, oh boy, this is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Old 10 gauge laid the smack down on him. Oh man, check this out. Check this out. This is freaking awesome. I just have to figure out how to set this up here now. Uh, grab a rock here.
got about four inch beard on him. But uh, man, is this freaking awesome. Whew. There it is. Jake down in PA, first bird in two years. This is freaking insane. I love it. All right. Well, can't really get, can't really get a good picture, but there he is. Obviously a Jake fan. Boy, did that work out good. That is freaking awesome. I didn't even have to call. Just being at the right spot at the right time, going off of what they were doing in the past. And, uh, and there he is. Freaking awesome. Whew. Oh, i get a picture here. Well, David, congratulations. That is a well-earned turkey right there. So proud of you for sticking out after the rain and getting back out there and heading to a spot going off of past patterns that you're familiar with in that location and just seeing and being patient this time of year is tough it's been a long season we've been down the grind but you made it happen here congratulations This tag filled out. <laughs> he ain't a monster, but he a turkey in PA.